Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're putting a twist on a classic lemon drop. We're going to create a Mandarin lemon drop. Now your classic lemon drop comes to us from the 1970s, and of course is lemon, vodka, sugar, and a little bit of triple sec. Now this cocktail has no sugar in it because the sweetness comes naturally from the mandarins and of course the sugar rim. Now it's a simple, easy shake in the glass cocktail, so you're going to need your shaker. And of course, we're going to start this with some mandarins. Now, um, you need about one ounce or 30 milliliters. So if you just squeeze one mandarin and you find that you need a little bit more, that's perfect. Otherwise, just squeeze yourself an entire mandarin directly into the glass. And I think I just repeated myself, but it doesn't matter. After you've done this, what we need is a little bit of lemon juice because what's a lemon drop variation without a little bit of lemon juice? So grab your knife. And what we'll do is just cut the end off to make it easier to squeeze, cut this in half. Now we don't need a lot of this, but we do need is three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. So just basically squeeze it and measure it and pour it into the glass. Our third ingredient for this is an orange liqueur. And in this case, I'm using a little bit of Grand Marnier. Now this is a cognac based orange liqueur. However, you can use a triple sec or a Cointreau if you'd like it to be a little bit sweeter, but you don't need a lot. This is just sort of to bump those flavors. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. And if you want to substitute something else, you could use something like a Pierre Ferrand dry Curacao. Again, it'll be the same ABV. However, there's less sugar in this, so you may need to actually add a bit of sweetness to the cocktail, but you're going to find your best cocktail for this because really, it's all about adjusting and having fun and coming up with great variations. Now we do need some vodka and I'm using a little bit of Smirnoff. We'll use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next step in the process, of course, is to shake this with some ice. So you wanna fill your uh, glass up about three quarters of the way and you're gonna shake this for a good eight to 10 seconds because you wanna make sure it dilutes properly, but you want, don't wanna overly dilute this. So slap your lid, make sure you got a really good seal. Give it a flick, shake it with a smile. All right, once you've done that and you've gotten some good condensation on the outside of the uh, can here, you're gonna pop this off with the strength of a thousand bottles of orange liqueur and of course, some mandarins on the side, and grab your favorite glass of choice. Now in this case, we're going to use a martini glass, but we have to prep the glass. So remember the uh, little bit of uh, orange cast off that you had? What we're going to do now is we're going to wipe the edge, then dip the edge in some sugar to give it that rim. So make sure you just tap off a little bit of the excess sugar, and there you have a beautifully perfect uh, sugar rim. Simple, easy, but make sure you grab yourself your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer, and we just wanna make sure we keep out any chunks of ice or citrus pulp. Oh yeah, look at the color of this. Now we are going to garnish this with a small slice of mandarin, just to give us a nice bright orange. And in case we want a little bit more orange, we're good to go. So immediately I get a little bit of that orange. <laughs> really good. You've got the lemon, you've got the mandarin, although you could add a little bit more of the mandarin orange juice to this but you don't need to add any sugar. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you like lemon drop cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right over here.